Hi Taurus, welcome to your heart hello. Harsh Truth reading for June 17th through July 16th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below, including the link to the Recommend a Reader shout out, which goes to Kelly Rosano. She uh, is an astrologer on, well, in real life, <laughs> also on YouTube. Um, wealth of information, so if you like astrology, please check her out, show her some love and support. All right, Taurus, harsh truth. Let's get to it, Taurus. Okay, the Six of Cups. Oh. <laughs> this can sometimes this is about innocence and safety and just a sincere you know, something very innocent and sweet and sincere and sentimental and nostalgic and all that. And every once in a while, this little exchange here stands out to me. <laughs> anyway, uh, so if it's not that, <laughs> it could be your kids. It could be you're dealing with somebody from your past. Maybe you're thinking about reaching out or reconnecting or you're hoping for some sort of reconciliation or connection with somebody from your past. All right, so we've got seven of pentacles, the devil, nine of cups, Judgment, Four of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. Can you see this? I feel like everything's so close. <laughs> Maybe like this. Okay, yeah. So be dealing with Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, or Sagittarius. Lots of cups here. Wow. One, two, three, four cups. Oh my goodness. All right. So, hmm. I think you want to be able to make a decision and your person doesn't want you to go anywhere. I think they want you to stay. I think they want to do whatever means necessary to get you to stay. What's this? Including great sex. I, I don't. I don't say that facetiously. I, like unironically. I, I mean it. Like they'll. It's almost like they. Just, they want you to. If they can find something that can give you what no one else can, then it has a chance of becoming a need. And a need. If you need something, you're not going to leave it. You know what I mean? All right. What's this? Seven of Pentacles. What's this? Seven of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. Yeah, it's come to this. You're kind of like, you know, this is, I just don't think I can do this anymore. I need some time to think about what I want to do if it's going to be worth it for me to continue to invest in this relationship. I'm about done. I'm guarded. I'm angry. I'm showing up still, but my heart's not in it, and I don't know how much more I can take. And I need to be able to take some time to think. And, and see what my decision is going to be. What's this devil about? What's this devil about for Taurus? Capricorn could be. This is about them thinking they can throw money at the situation and get you to stay. If they can change their behavior. Okay, okay, I'll start being fair. I'll start being equitable. I'll start reciprocating. I'll start paying attention to you. I'll start doing my part. All these promises of equity or changing um, sort of a, a neglectful behavior on their part. Even money, this could be obsession with money and wealth and a lifestyle. And I think they might be thinking that they either are going to get that out of the relationship. Like that's what they're after. It's not about you staying. It's about, all right, well, if we're going to end, then um, if you're thinking about staying or going, well, at least I at least want to be taken care of. But this could also be maybe they're hoping to entice you or hoping that you'll stick around because the material uh, benefits are worth it. This nine of coins. This nine of coins about. Yeah. This is superficial happiness because there's it's 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 almost this is almost like um you know people have poor coping skills like that that they eat for comfort or they well they're excellent coping skills they're just not healthy right. 
but those coping skills that don't really give any solace, but it makes you feel better in the moment. This is like that because things are really uncertain and confusing and downright probably deceptive. Like there's some ulterior motives going on here, right? But on the surface, it's like, well, it placates you. So it's, it's situational happiness based on a lot of confusion, a lot of uncertainty, a lot of things that you don't know about or behind the scenes. Like there's just, it might look by all appearances that you two are happy or that even you're happy, but there's profound, um, there's a lot of things that are done in secret or for ulterior motives, manipulation, downright deception. This is false happiness. This is just, this is an unhealthy coping mechanism here. This is like, well, retail therapy because I'm having a bad day. It's, it, no, this is, this is just being happy on the surface because you keep doing something to make you happy. But underneath the surface, there's all this confusion and doubt and uncertainty, perhaps deception. Um, okay. What's this judgment about? What's this judgment about? This, it's, it's like somebody doing stuff to save face, to keep the peace, to keep everything together, to, 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 but it's, it's not based on anything. It's, it's murky. It's, it's murky. It's a house of cards. What's this judgment about? This is you reviewing the past and coming to grips with what is. This is epiphanies, realizations. This is that awareness that happens when you look at something and you're like, oh my, oh my gosh. Even if I do physically go back to a situation, I can't feel the way I used to feel because I know too much now. I can't not know what I know. And it changes everything. When you, it's almost like when you get that time apart to finally start thinking if you want to stay or go and you start really getting into the past and examining it, you, it's like epiphanies abound, all these realizations. And then it's the decision is made whether you actively made a decision or not. It's just like, oh my gosh, I can't, I, I don't feel, I know that I don't feel the same anymore now because I, I know too much and it's not, I don't, mm -mm. I don't think this is about a reconciliation. I think this is about you reconciling the past and being like, oof, yeah, we've turned a corner. What's this four of cups about? Yeah. Oops. What's four of cups about? There we go. What's this four of cups about? I think I was, you know what? I'm going to put that out there too because I, um, it was going to be the nine of, I think it was a nine of, yeah, the Nine of Swords. And then I, when I went to go put it down like this, it was like, oh, okay. And I, so I'll leave both of them out there. But um, that's 17. Okay, so that's eight, nine. So this is Four of Cups, being disappointed, having, this is also luxury because it's almost like you have all that you want and now you're bored with it. Kind of just meh, everything's meh. So this is somebody that has what they want but they want the one thing they can't have. They have all these other things they could fulfill themselves with, but they want the one thing that they can't have. And that's you staying. And it drives them crazy. It's, it's a source of uh, anxiety, of what they might perceive as cruelty, mental anguish. And there's a hope still that things will work out over time. They're disappointed now, they're in a funk, and this is hoping that things will resolve and work out over time. Both of these are wish cards. This is situational. This is working out over a long, a long period of time. The thing is, result, resolution or things resolving don't always mean that it's about reconciliation and reunion. It could just be brand new beginnings for both involved, separate from each other. But see, this is the darndest thing. What's this? what's this 10 of cups here because it doesn't it's not healthy the thing is it's not this is superficial happiness based on things that aren't going to hold up in the light of day quite literally it, it, not stability not trust not respect collusion deception manipulation things you don't know are going on 
A lot of uncertainty. A lot of things you don't know about. What's this Ten of Cups about, Taurus? Four of Pentacles. And I, I sigh because it looks like, you know what, they do find a way to get you to stay. And then while when you go back, it's about trying to figure out a way to keep you there. About to keep, to calm everything down again. I feel like they, they are leveraging money. They're controlling the situation with money. They control, if they're keeping you staying there with, um, with money. What else for Taurus here? What else for Taurus? Queen of Cups. This could be you needing to practice some self-care, needing to get away so that you have time to think, so that you can figure out what you want to do. Um, th this feels like self-care, like you need people in your corner to support you and help you and be a sounding board. You need emotional connection from others. You need emotional support right now. Self-care is important. What else for Taurus? What else for Taurus? so this emboldens this person by keep being able to and you of course you do what you want but what's showing here is that you do come back to the fold because of the money situation there's control with money um so you do it looks like you're staying for now we'll say for now right because free will and all that and everybody's situation is different. You can do what you want. But this right here shows that you are staying, but that you're still in need of time to figure out what you want to do. And it looks like you might even consult friends to do that. They, however, are thinking that this is a brand new beginning with the situation. They're like, okay, all right. So they're still here. So that means that we're, we're, it's just weird because it's like it's it's kind of dis it's kind of fantasy. It's kind of disconnected from reality because it's like how can they think that oh we're okay again? It's like don't they see how how unhappy you are or how like that it would only be the money keeping you there or maybe you just can't make it on your own right now. So I just need six months under the same roof so that my expenses are smaller and then I'll be out of your hair. Like don't they? But it's almost like they're really encouraged by it and they do think that it's going to lead to things working out over the long haul. What else for Taurus? What else for Taurus? What else for Taurus? So we got bear. Oh, there's that. Oh, and the crossroads. Oh, we've reversed. The bear and crossroads. Um, not for nothing, but that was reversed. That could be about... <laughs> I can't believe, honestly, they're all upright. So how did that happen, right? Why did that happen? Well, crossroad reversed, not that you read the Norman reverse, but okay. Uh, this could be about reversing your decision. This is at the crossroads and like, you know what? I know brighter days are ahead, but the crossroad reverse is reversing that decision or not taking a path, going back to your situation. So there you go, right? To a to situation that is particularly domineering. This could be strength and protection and but it's also control and domineering because in that strength and protection right you feel so safe and loved but then that gives somebody complete control and power and then if it gets weird to go south then all of a sudden guess what then it becomes domineering and weird and oppressive and like you feel like you can't leave like they they, they got your number right they know what it's going to take to keep you to stay and they are constantly positioning and leveraging that and that's what we see here because I, you know, I, I kind of doubted. I thought, is that really that? Yeah, it is because of the bear. That's um, oppressive control, power struggle, passive aggressive uh, manipulation, that sort of thing. And then, of course, the crossroad or not going down. Not it's like you're right there, and then you decide to to return. I don't think you want to, though. I think you're doing it because it's advantageous right now to do so. But I don't, I don't, I don't feel like your heart's in it because you desperately need some time away and self-care and time to think. And that's not a value judgment. I'm just saying you can see it here with the Queen of Cups. 
Some, someone said, oh, spa day because of the water and the... <laughs> what else is for us? Knight of Cups. All right. The thing about the Knight of Cups. Okay, so it could be Scorpio. Uh, this could be Cancerian, by the way. The thing about the Knight of Cups is, all right, a lot of times it's a knight in shining armor. It's that really romantic offer. It's taking things to the next level emotionally. It's it's becoming a couple. It's all those romantic things. and But it's also about somebody that there's a lot more behind the offer than just romance. This is a very intense, sometimes, it reads as a very intense personality with a whole world built around this offer when you're just thinking, oh, yay, you know, we, we're, we're, all right, we're getting serious. That's good. That means a whole lot more to the person offering if it's a Knight of Cups. There's a lot more going into the offer, but they restrain, they hold back. They've got a lot more emotion behind it, but they don't want to spook the person. Um, so sometimes this is a real hot and cold, emotional, emotionally manipulative personality. They might be jealous, they might be moody, they might be, doesn't have to be. And I don't want to detract from any kind of love or romance, but in light of this reading, this is an emotionally manipulative offer under the guise of reconciliation, renewal of emotions, taking, you know, a second chance. But look at this. I mean, we've got control with money. And they, it's lost on them that that's the reason why you're staying or haven't left yet. They think it's a second chance. It's going to work out in the long run. What else for Taurus? So we got the star and we've got, let's see, what is that? Well, if it was this way, I'd do like this, but it was okay. So we got the star and the five of coins. Yeah. This is, again, with the self-care, needing the self-care. It's almost like I need deliverance, <laughs> wishful thinking. Maybe it can work out. Maybe this is you bargaining. And, and perhaps thinking, oh, well, you know, maybe in time. Um, this is also, again, doubling down on the need for just solitude and self-care and being able to think so that you can think about what you want. But it looks like this person is very good at pressuring or enticing and not giving you the time you need. Because if you did have the time you needed to think about this without them constantly kind of making offers or just checking in to see how you're doing, and eh, you'd not, you wouldn't return. Your heart's not in it anymore. You're not there anymore. But appearances matter for this person, I guess. And so they're going to manage that and do what they need to do to get you to stay. And But so this is hoping things will work out, but your heart's not in it. You're disconnected. This is also in order for things to work out or for you to heal, in order for you to resolve and to, to, be, to start healing and just get that restoration, that hope, that renewal, you need to disconnect from this situation. This is an emotionally, um, um, how do you, what is that? What is it? Like, it's like emotional poverty, basically. There's, th this is not an emotional connection. There, you, you need to disconnect. As, I mean, I, it might not be possible for you because it looks like you return and all is well. That's what it looks like. But you're in desperate need of time to yourself of people that truly care about you to just have some time to yourself. And this person doesn't want you to be able to do that because if you do, you'll leave. You'll come to the realization slowly, but surely you're not there. It's not enough for them to, to know that you're emotionally dissatisfied. You're not connected. We're married in name only. I just don't feel it anymore. But they think that things are still going to work out. I, And it begs the question, why would you want me here if you know I don't want to be here? What could you possibly get out of that, you know? All right, Taurus, I hope this was helpful. I'm sorry uh, it wasn't more cheery or it wasn't more happy. And you would think because the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups here, but I, I feel like this is just, that we, uh, you know, nope. And this, the Nine of this, uh-uh. Mm -mm. All right. I hope to see you in the next reading. I do hope this was helpful and I hope you're able to find some solace or just 
start making some decisions to extract yourself and start enlisting friends because you, your heart's not in it. You don't want to be there. And you certainly don't want to be controlled. Have, have what your desires used against you, you know? Thanks, friend, right? Okay, all right. Uh, thank you for stopping by. I hope to see you in the next reading. You take care.